Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Amazon Fire TV Stick and more specifically, why it does some of the things that it does. An example, why is it that the longer you have the Fire TV Stick, the slower it gets? And we're also gonna talk about why the Fire TV Stick dwindles in storage, even if you're not using it. It can get down to where you get a little critical within just a few hours of unboxing it brand new. All right, guys, it's how you set it up. So I'm gonna share with you how to factory reset it and set it up properly so it'll last for years and years, just like all of our sticks here. Let's do it. All right, so there's a couple ways to factory reset it. If you have control of your Fire TV stick, you can just use your regular remote and you can get into settings. If you don't, for whatever reason, say you have an old Fire TV stick that's just frozen because it's full or uh, you haven't done some updates and it's not working, you can use a remote code. So we'll talk about both of those in today's video. So let's get right on the TV and let's go. All right, I have you here on the home screen on the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now, what I'm gonna share with you is how to factory reset it. There are two ways to factory reset this. One is to go into settings, My Fire TV, and do it with your remote. The other way is to actually just hard do it with your remote. So if your Fire Stick is completely stuck, you can't move around your screen at all, there's a way to do it with just your remote control. So I'm gonna talk about both of those. So let me show you really quick. In settings right here, if you go to My Fire TV, and then you go to about, you will see what your storage is. So I have 4.51 gigabytes of 5.33 gigabytes. Guys, if you don't have this much storage or even close to this much storage, then you didn't set it up properly, which is fine. This is where my videos come in handy. So I'm gonna share with you how to do that. And again, this is 4K Max a Fire TV stick. No matter which model you have, whether it's an old one, a new one, anything second gen or newer, or the Cube, Fire TV editions, you can do it with any Fire OS operation system, except for the very, very first one that was like, what, 10 years ago. So any of the second gen, third gens, 4Ks, 4K Maxes, you can do this, okay? So what you're going to want to do is get into that same section. So you're going to go to settings. You're going to go down to My Fire TV, which is right here. You're going to go to reset to factory defaults. That's where you do it. Now, this is going to bring it back to new. You are not going to keep any of your apps that you have installed. You're not gonna be able to have any of your passwords saved, any of that. This is gonna start it all over, guys, but sometimes that's what you have to do, especially if it's really slow or not performing well. So let me really quickly show you the alternate way to do it. Now, if you don't have control of your Fire Stick because it is just so incredibly slow, you replace the batteries in your remote, but you just can't do anything, there's a remote code that you can do, and I'll put it on the screen. And I'm gonna do that version of the factory reset so you can see what it's like. So what you're going to do is hit the back button, which is that little uh, arrow that kind of curls around and goes left and the right side of your directional pad at the same time. And it's important you do both at the same time, exactly at the same time and hold it for about 10 seconds. So let's do that together right now. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And there you go. It took about 10 seconds. Maybe I counted a little fast. Now what it's going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of time to decide, do I want to do it? You can cancel right here, or you can just go say, okay, let's go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and do the factory reset right now. All right, so now we have gotten to that point where you're going to set up the remote and that took about five minutes. I did this in a little bit faster speed just for video purposes, but what you're gonna do is hold down that home button on your remote, looks like a little home, for just a couple seconds and then it will pull up this screen right here. Now you're gonna hit the play button and you get to your language. So let's go through the typical setup that you would do. Uh, you could go ahead and hit play and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this option. You can either set it up with your remote or you can set it up with a Fire TV app. I highly encourage you to use the Fire TV app because that actually has all of your information. It will connect to your network faster. And you can just go through the whole process a lot faster. And that Fire TV app is completely free. There's really no reason not to have it. So go ahead, if you don't already have it, I would recommend go ahead and download Fire TV app right now. Once you download that and log into your Amazon account, all you have to do on your app is click set up new device. Now you're, it's gonna ask you what type of device, is it a blaster, a recast, or a Fire TV? You're gonna say Fire TV. 
it'll automatically start searching for this new Fire TV. Now, on my app that I have on my phone, it's already start, it's already found it, and it's looking for Wi-Fi networks and connecting. So you should notice on the screen in just a few seconds, it go to the next step, and there it goes. Network connection successful. Now on the app, it will say it has been added to complete the setup, follow the prompts on your TV. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the next prompts on your TV, it looks like there's actually a latest software update. So that's great. Now keep in mind when you have an older Fire TV stick and you're adding updates over and over again, it will slow down your Fire TV stick. Starting brand new gives you that initial install. It's not taking up all that storage for all those updates. It literally is like a brand new, you just bought it at Best Buy or Amazon a brand new Fire TV stick. So it's gonna perform a lot better. You will notice that on this video. You'll definitely notice it on your Fire TV stick as well. Now don't forget, this will erase all of those passwords and those apps. So you will need to go back, watch our older videos or join Patreon where you can get all those third-party apps that we talk about and share over there. Uh, but you will have to log into all of your accounts if you have Netflix, Hulu, all of that. But that shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't take too long. And if you're bringing a Fire Stick back to life, it's well worth it. All right, so now it went ahead and registered it for you automatically because, again, you were connected to your uh, Fire TV app. So we're going to go ahead and continue on that. And it will ask you this, restore your Fire TV. Now, do you want everything to be exactly like your other one was? I would say no. And the reason why is because you had problems before. Maybe it was the way you set it up. So we're going to go skip. You're gonna skip the restore, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hit next here because it wants to do the audio. Audio is working. It's gonna ask you to do the volume up and down on your remote. That works as well. So we're gonna say yes. And now your remote is set up. You're literally going as if this is a brand new stick. All right, now this is the most important right here, guys. It'll pull up this screen right here that's gonna ask you your preferences. Now, initial setup is key. If you set up this fire stick right off the bat, on your own, you might say, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, then all of a sudden your storage is gone within a few hours. So do you, this is going to ask you all kinds of things like, do you want this here? No, I don't want any apps on it, even with a free trial. Do you want to choose your streaming services now? No, I'm going to say no, thank you. I'm going to do it as I go. Do I want to enable parent? No, I don't want to do it, parental controls. Now you can do all these things later, guys, but I'm going to show you something here. Check this out. When you go, go ahead and sign in just like that to your account. Go ahead and go into settings right now. Now that this Fire Stick is all fired up, go to My Fire TV, and then you're going to go to About. I have 4.54 gigabytes of three, 5.33. Very few people have this much storage. Now, to take it a step further, if you were to go and see what applications are already on this Fire TV Stick, let's go do that really fast. You can see I've actually got the traditional apps that you would think, but it's not a bunch of junk that we don't use. You got your Netflix, you got your Hulu, you've got all this stuff that is built in already. So you and Disney Plus, what to watch, you're gonna have Sling, all of those because they paid for those apps to be in there, but it didn't take up your storage on your Fire TV stick. Really cool. Now I have another video I want you guys to watch. It is on how to change your settings where you can make Amazon Photos not take up your storage or your screensaver taking up cash. All of these things I have in my settings video, you will want to do that as well because if you don't set it up properly beyond this initial setup, you will have potentially your storage dwindle. So make sure you watch that video as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Maybe you gained something, maybe you learned something. That's all that matters is you're learning something every day. Hopefully you learned something in today's video. And again, this is all about the Fire TV stick and their storage problems that they have. Setting it up properly really is the key to having the Fire TV stick. These things are very inexpensive and they can last you years and years if properly managed. That's what we do on this channel. So if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thanks everybody. Bye.